Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone else, and welcome to the third episode of Thousand Week Reich. And, well, I don't have to explain what happened in the last episode because you're like, I have a playlist for it within this with this video in it as well. So let's just head on to the episode to the episode. So as we may have already noticed, I already have reunited France once again under a peaceful administration under Mr. Frenet over here, which I have to say I'm really happy for. A dreamy intellectual. Provisional Oblast of Moscow has capitulated. And I'll start like the other parts of a focus tree, but like this one? Hmm, I'm not really sure about this one. This one gives me conflicts. So let's do some invading for now. Time to expand France's power base. Now I'm going to expand my power base into tr into into the kingdom of Jordan and Syria. Yeah. This will be the Middle Eastern theater, so call French Syria into arms. Hurry! Don't worry. Don't worry, Syria. You'll get your chance. Now is the time. <laughs> both Syria and the Hashemite Kingdom of Iraq. No, I mean both Iraq and Jordan. I don't know why I said Syria in the sentence. Right, Vichy. Well, for our welfare reforms rejected. Oh no. Meet with the unions. Let's see. One of a current have to be. I'm not even. I'm not even part of a social democrat party, so I don't know why. Troll. I love this song. Oh, Canada wants to provide. Ah, nice. Even though technically I'm part of. Yeah. But I guess. Friend, but I guess with my expansion, I could help Italy with its influence. As they say, one man's loss is another man's gain. There's no other focus tree for me to go through. Economic reforms. French social order, I don't get that. Oh good, the kingdom has expired. But I need both, both countries to capitulate before I do, because I don't want to end up like in that same mistake that happened. There we go. Take all the Iraqi states. Oh wait, no. There we go, take now let's see if I can handle this. The fate of Jordan, the fate of Iraq. Install a new Iraqi regime. Install a puppet. There we go. Now I have the Republic of Iraq and the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan again. Hmm.
Canada decided to end our Lend-Lease program. That's fine. But I would also like to get this country, but... Oh. They're a member of the United Nations. Hmm. Seems a little trickery could be in order. <laughs> the Africa Theater, the Middle East. Let me change the insignia because I don't like it. There we go. I don't even know what's gonna happen with with Germany. Our old ways or changes are in the air. Str oh, if they strive for the, if they go back down to the status quo again, I swear. But I do like the Prussian economy, though. That's really something. But Germany's influence is long gone. What? What is this now? Rise of the Japanese Confederation with its capital in Sendai. Oh good, now what? Oh good, now let's see if a resurgent Japan could. Oh boy. I don't like this. And I guess I'll wait when the United Kingdom decolonizes in Africa, then I'll snatch up Nigeria, Ghana, and Sierra Leone. Oh, and as well, Gambia too, because I need the colonies. The Free Russian Movement? Oh, it could. Oh, dang, it capitulated. Wait, Italy has. French? Yeah, I'm in the. Seriously. Seriously, Italy, you're just. You're just letting your puppets go free? That's harsh, man. Marxist, Leninist, Enver Hoxha. I think that's how it's spelled. I don't know. Promises of peace. Let me. Let's see if I can finish this part of the focus tree. Okay now. Okay now I have this. Sorry. Sorry about the small mistake. I actually put focus autocomplete back. On. Silent workhorse. Now let's see. The new parliament. The new parliament. As France readies itself for new elections, a shakeup of the political scene is required. The French state has always been in the shaky place in regards of its Republican credibility. In light of a change in, in attitude, a brand new parliament shall be formed with select political parties invited to take its first seats, all under watchful eyes of a military faction, of course. This'll be fun! Kickstarter biological research. What's this? Weapon sales. Purchase old tanks. Sorry, sorry about the noise a bit a while ago, but uh. Hi. Sorry. Okay. Ha hold on. I apologize for the background noise a bit. So I don't know why, but someone was trying to get my attention to to do something. I don't know. Oh, finally, the American sells us tank truck tanks and trucks. What's this? True Legio overthrown? Ooh boy, that ain't good news. <laughs> it's not good news at all, but You know it's fun you know it's funny the Hellenic state and the communist Greek Democratic Republic, they ain't getting support from nobody. That's what I just now just realize. They ain't getting support from no one. I mean, but the Hellenic state could have gotten support from Italy, I mean, come on, it's Italy. Like... Oh, goody, the Republic of Ukraine. Oh, the rebels team changed it into the Republic of Ukraine. I see it now. Yeah. 
Improve our workers' conditions. Hierarchy and tradition. Wine, bread, cheese, and the Eiffel Tower. The Louvre, Versa Versailles, all are symbols of France and her traditions. We French are proud of this heritage, but there are some elements of French culture we worry, we, which worry the new government, particularly the, re the element of rebellions. Wherefore, all French men and women must accept the new national authority. Tradition will not falter in France again. I have to say, that's actually a unique slogan. You see? Restoration of order. The carrot and the stick. I don't even know what happens after the carrot and the stick with its... I don't get it. Presidential authority. Though the government must be given a certain degree of independence and autonomy from the head of state, we cannot give them so much power that they could up upturn La Marchelle's work. The retention of the high levels of our power ahead of state currently poses should be kept. Only to maintain stability, of course. France has no time for tyrants. Couldn't have said that better myself, honestly. And then I go into a second crossroads, which is this mess. National plebiscite. Darlan wins. What the hell? <laughs> okay, maybe I should go with No, e no You Guess again for the memes, because... Because No You Guess was already over... Ousted by Frenet, but what if Noyugas shockingly gets back into power? I'm gonna do that, cause why not? I have a, I have a crazy mindset. Dang. Communist Belarus, Lithuania, Latvia. Why does Latvia have no leader? Oh, Katskit, but he has no portrait. Haldemar May. Now let's see. Uh, the United States of America. Very tr When will there be another election? It's 1955. Cr it's like 1955 for crying out loud. And, and when will the next elections be? Well, Louis St. Laurent is just... Oh yeah, I forgot. He's the leader of Canada. I'm stupid. And they're a member of the United Nations. Let's see here. Ah! 28 days, 14. Let's do the 14 days. The establishment of la laicity. La la laicity. Okay, I get it. Monasteries of France have given so much hope to a people who believe their nation could be dying a slow death. Really? The influence of the non ordained members of the church and government. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Germany about to get wrecked now. G Germany, G I have to—I hate to say this, Germany, but you are about to get wrecked. <laughs> wrecked as in dead. But you know, this could give me the opportune time now to get to regain back my colonies, or shall I say, my whole parts of my homeland taken. Work, family, and homeland. Champagne. Champagne, France? Let's see. The UN backs the anti-German war. Alright, the UN has come far with this one. The Mediterranean Union. Wait, who also... Oh, the Mediterranean Union, because it doesn't... Oh, yeah. For us, it doesn't really fulfill any of the efforts anymore. Hmm. Well, Germany, just, just like in the Italian episodes, your days are still numbered here. Don't worry, Denmark, France to the rescue!
All right, now France is joining in on the crusade. We shall help liberate the oppressed people of the low countries and all that. Hmm. And because of that, I'll accept the non-aggression packs. I accept. The Germ the Germans think that they may win, but I have the upper hand. The French line is still holding strong, but hmm. Prepare for war against the German Reich. Meet with the unions and a functioning democracy. Mm -hmm. Oh, Italy also wants to join in on it. Vi the Victoria Marcelletta. I swear to God, Italy, if you choose Italo Balbo as your ex-sex. As your successor, I... you know what? I'm not even gonna say nothing. Oh wait, no, that's not it. Oh, oh, for God's sake! Come on, Italy. What is it with you and Italo Balbo in this game? I don't get it. You know what? I'm not even gonna question it. Regional decentralization. Dang, Germany got a lot of bad boy aircrafts. Oh, and they already broken up, broken our front lines. But not for long. And now, France will help liberate the Low Countries, and as well Switzerland. Sorry Germany, but I guess your timeline was never meant to be in this world. Staff office. Attention. Attention, pour favor. Yep, the United Aye. States. Yep, the United States also got landings already involved. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. I could give back... let's see. Maybe I should try this one. Yeah, that works better. Okay, decentralization is almost up. Wait, hold on. Uh, 
All right, there we go. Attention. The French administration want to send us? All right. Regional Demons decentralization is complete. Strong executive power. Germany's time on Earth was just never meant to be in this kind of way. What's this? A Finnish fascist coup? Finland under new management? Opening of Gotland... Opening of Gotland International. Alright. Okay, I see what they're doing now. What now? Greater Finland declared? Well, I mean, that's not surprising, since Finland already had that territory since the end of the uh, war. Woohoo, finally! You're kidding me. I thought... Oh, you got... Oh, I'm stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> this actually let Germany live a lot longer. But hey, it actually shows the cracks in the system. Hmm? They're still in the new order system? Wait, what? Okay, is it just me, or why is Germany saying they're in the Toronto Accords? What what kind what kind of what kind of crazy stuff is this? Like I don't get it. <laughs> oh my god! But at least now France is back as a whole again. A national social corporatist republic. France. A nation reborn amidst tragedy and humiliation, the weakness and decadence of a so-called third republic has been made clear, and any thought of a return to this rotting corpse of a system is finished. France is now a national state, proud of its culture and heritage. France is a social nation, helping the poorest of society find identity and meaning in the name of La Marchelle's legacy. France is a corporate state, promoting the economic and business growth on a scale never before seen. France's new identity is ingrained and here to stay. Yep, I wouldn't have put it any other way. I couldn't have put it any other way besides that. But I always wondered... But I always wondered, like, I f like maybe I could grab some extra land for myself. Nah, I'll let it stay there. I'll let it stay under Germany for a while. Maybe, hold on. Nah. Hmm. Seems like the Greek Democratic so Communists are really finished this time. Mm -hmm. They're really finished. You no longer get the arms deal payments. Well, that's sad. The National Plebiscite. 
The groundwork is laid and now the time has come. Two men appear on the ballot box, both with different visions of a France and their future relationship with the world. Some claim both cr military cronies and German, German liquors, but both staunch defenders of Petain's Republic. La Marchelle's footsteps. Hmm. Let's see, it becomes president. <laughs> Charles Noyuguez assumes office. Revolutionary National Hmm. Oh, he was former leader of a free French. That makes sense. The Frank Darlan. But this is my rightful land. Sabotaged resources. Agreements with the opposition. Hungary remilitarizes again, finally. Under the NPHM. The Moscow Red Army, and I know what's going to happen next, they're going to join back with the Soviets. Refine the government, ensured rule. Yep. <laughs> Buryatia is just gone. Oh, look at this fine specimen of a boy. Bernard Wood is now leading the British in the Conservative Party. <laughs> Who would have funk it? The Russian Republic declare now declares war on Cheetah? Oh, I think I know where this is going. USSR isn't even doing nothing. It's under Ivan Konev and... Well, it's not even doing any warlike stuff. Okay, now this one is a really, really crazy one I have to do. The national elections are in, which means, Frenet, you're going to get kicked out of office. Let's see. The Free French. This one is a really hard take for me, because, like, I don't know which one to even choose. Like, empowering corporations, focus on the empire... Vegetable Garden of Europe, our Latin brothers. Corporatist Republic, the France of tomorrow. Eh. Vive la President, vive la France. The return to Earth policy. No, you guys elected. But, no, you guys is elected, but yet, Frenet still rules France. Seventy days? You gotta be kidding me. France's gradual decay from a great empire into a sick man in Europe can be attributed to our moral de degradation and rejection. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, at least I have good relations with the Fr with the British and the Americans. The New Republic of Bataan. Now we shall introduce the welfare reforms. Ah, screw it, Germany. You really should be defeated. Yep, now France, now America, and its allies are back at it again. Nuclear detonation above Germania? Oh my god! Dang! I did not expect that to happen. A symbolic parliament. Wow. New Greek leadership. Okay, uh, okay now Greece is returning back to normalcy. Okay, that's good. German round two. Let's get this over with. War bonds. In industry. Click kickstart nuclear research. And let's get our pal Italy on the fun. Who knows? <laughs> it could be real. It could be really something of a good, good crazy banger. Not getting back to Belgium lands, Germany. Your days are already numbered as it is. Emergency factory conversion. Yep, and now they're doing the work. Mm-hmm. Swiss government restored. Everything is restored. Return to Earth policy. This We've changed the government type for nays and power and all that jazz.
Oh good, now they're starting to do framework. Poland, the Republic of Poland is in power under Tadeusz Bialek. Ba mm -hmm. Yep, Czechoslovak. The Czechoslovak is getting extra land. Poland gets Poland gets East Prussia. <laughs> Germany is just being dismantled left, right, and center. The Tricolor Empire. Incorporate Oran into our empire. Maintain industrial complex, and we shall incorporate Oran. Yes! We have finally incorporated Oran. The new Algiers airport. Ooh, I love... The Great European Refugee Crisis. New Algiers airport. The occupation of Morocco has already been done. Great, now I can create my agency. Hooray. And besides... Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, that's fine. The German Confederal Union. Also, I don't get why Morocco has to be like... I'm not even fas... I'm not even a fascist nation anymore. The German Confederal Union. A new hope. I even got Zarland. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see, maybe I should go for the other box. Alrighty, we've been through a lot of crazy stuff. Now we can do the French Great Works. Wait, no, close that. UN Resolution on the Occupation of Germany. The new United Nations has granted sweeping powers for long term and... Hmm. I mean, the occupation fate of Morocco has failed already. And seems like I also wanted to do this part of Focus Tree too. I'm not sure how Darlene would have changed anything. Well, for our welfare reforms have been rejected again. Well, I think it's time we go to the last part of Focus Tree. Liberty Toy France. With Wayguard's body still wa Oh. With luck, friend. Let's see. La mise à peu. The French term for the Ger the French term for the German guy under our new popular state. Hmm. One of the following must be true for it. Guy Mollet, Jacques Dossio, Marcy Ballet. To board up the Bordux Airport. What now? Military coup in Greece. Yet another junta. And this is where I'll be stopping for now. This episode really was getting crazy a while ago. So Germany has already been defeated yet again. Twice. And... Well, I got my old French lands back. So that's one plus. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for the fourth episode.